Well, g'day. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Stuart Chignall, and if you already knew that, welcome back. Um, today, we are going to be doing some work to prepare to have a lot of fun, and we'll probably have some fun doing that as well. A lot of my projects uh, involve wood, and as much as possible, I like to start with the logs. A little while ago, all those logs were standing here. Um, still a few poplars over there, but most of them have all been cut down. All these um, willows and poplars are all here. Now this is part of a, um, a government's work to rehabilitate watercourses, and there's become the view that um, trees like the poplars and willows are bad for the creeks, bad for the native flora and fauna. That's a little bit controversial, and as much as I'm an ecologist, I haven't done the research or study to really form a professional opinion of that, so I'm just gonna stay right away from it. Less controversial, but somewhat controversial, is that the trees are worthless and they're not good for anything. Well, and that, that I will buy into, because poplar and willow can provide some excellent, excellent wood. But one of its greatest attributes, one of its greatest advantages, is its strength to weight ratio. Uh, so it means that you can make furniture out of it and still be able to lift it. Okay, so probably not the best action shot to shoot. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of using this GoPro. But uh, with my, um, one of the features of it is you can use your phone in combination with it. So right now, I'm using it as a reversing camera. Which I must say is pretty cool. Oh, well, let's get it started. Something that I was thinking about as I was cutting there is um, if I'm going to be doing more of this stuff on YouTube, I've got to maintain my equipment a bit better. What I'm going to have to fix, just so I'm not leading any of you guys astray, is the clutch. Because the when I take my finger off the throttle, the centrifugal clutch should disengage and the chain should stop moving. Um, so anyone who knows their chainsaws would have seen that it didn't, not once. Uh, and it was actually spinning pretty fast, which meant it was still engaged pretty strongly. So yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to not show <laughs> the chainsaw um, in the film. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is pull out some of those logs that I've just cut. I'm going for short lengths. I'm not going for long timbers here. Two reasons for that. One is because it's gonna be easier to get them onto the trailer. And the other is that I'm not well, I don't need long lengths. I think the, if I was going to make a bed out of any of this timber, the longest length I would need is maybe seven foot. Um, seven foot I won't get across the trailer, but I will get it along the length. So um, if, I get, if, there's a good, if there's a good log in there that's millable for seven foot lengths, for, you know, for a bed or a big table or something, then I'll, I'll, probably, I'll cut it to a seven foot, eight foot, nine foot length. Otherwise, I'm looking to put the logs all across the trailer. I can just roll them up the ramps, get them in the trailer and get out of here. That's the plan. In fact, some of them are even gonna be shorter. I'm not, yeah, I'm just going for blocks because a lot of this stuff, I'm not gonna be using the Lucas Mill to process. I'm gonna be doing some other crazy stuff. One of these days, I'm gonna get organized. But not today. Not today. Hmm. Ah.
Well, I got most of a load, uh, but not quite a full load. But I just got a phone call from Sarah. Looks like Edward's going into the big house again, so I need to get home. So it's been a good day up until then. Well, apart from the you know stuff this morning. And that's the breaks. That's the breaks. But I've had fun today. I've seen lizards. That's always cool. I've got some wood. That was fun. Is it as much as I wanted? No, but then when is it? So I still had fun. That's the main thing.